thank you for joining me. You can be anywhere in the world, but you choose to be here with me. Let me see, here we go. Here with me. And I appreciate that shit. Yes, I know one hand is purple and one hand is not. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you the, I guess, about 15 or so palettes that I've really been fucking with hardcore, that I've really been enjoying. Um, I've spent a lot of time. Um, this last couple of months, I've really adjusted the way I'm doing my palettes, and I really like the way I'm doing them. Um, I like um, the review and rate and the shop my my stash, because if I, when I do my review and rate, if I don't like the palette or I'm not really digging it, I just declutter it, and it's so simple, and it's a good way to do things. But these are the palettes that I've really been fucking with and I really like, and I'm going to show you one at a time. Some of them are going to surprise you, <clears throat> like this one. This is the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place. Um, Juvia's Place was one of the first uh, brands that I bought online. Uh, it's definitely the first black-owned brand. Ooh. Editing Breathe. Edit that out. Okay. It's definitely one of the first black-owned brands, or the, the first black-owned brand that I ever um, purchased. My favorite shade, like everybody else in the palette, is Egypt. A lot of people had trouble blending the darker shades. I do not. I've had this since, oh gosh, let me see if it says, uh, yeah, uh, February of 2007. It still performs beautifully for me. You can make a variety of different color, um, different um, looks with this. The colors are very, um, they vary significantly. This looks more green, but it's more bronze uh, in real life. This blue is beautiful all over the lid. This yellow is really beautiful, and it's a little bit more vibrant. This is a little bit more orange, but it's a beautiful palette, and I really love it. This looks olive, but it's more of a uh, cool toned brown. So the Nubian 2, I've really been enjoying that. Okay, another one. I remember when Nikki Tutorials um, was talking about this some years ago. I've had this, what does it say? 1, 2017. And it still performs absolutely stunning. Um, if you can tell, I have a huge dip in this shade right here. It's one of the only um, Juvia's Place palettes that doesn't have any names. This one, and I think the Zulu, doesn't have any names. Um, it's gorgeous. It has a great shade, a great ratio of mattes to shimmers. This is the perfect, perfect neutral palette for me. Uh, this one, the NARS uh, Reloaded. Uh, there's one other palette that I can't remember off the top of my head that I use when I want to, um, when I'm meeting with parents, the, in the work that I do, I have to meet with parents a lot of the time to consult about their children. And uh, this is the palette that I use. So I really like this one, the Nubian by Juvia's Place. If you're looking for a neutral palette, don't, don't skip this one. It's great. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Another one you'll be surprised to hear about, as much as I can't stand this person, the Laura Lee's Caps Pajamas. Now, this is outstanding. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, palette. This is pulling more um, mustardy, but it's actually, exactly, actually, excuse me, a very perfect neutral brown. Um, this is the only one that I don't use in the palette. I don't really use blacks too much because I use actual liner. Um, this shade is beautiful. This shade is stunning. I told myself I wasn't going to do swatches, but here I am. Really beautiful. This shade right here. It's just beautiful. I've had this for quite a while. I like. I even like the Okie Dokie shade, the, the white shade. This is a great, like, um, work palette. Really good. Another one. Oh, my gosh. I've been wrecking shop on this. This is the Enduring Love. Now, this is the light. I have not used the deep yet, but this is the light. And you can see. <laughs> oh, my God. I love this palette. This shade in particular, I mean, I imagine that I'll hit pan in this shade by the end of the year. This shade is gorgeous. Look at that. Let me see. Are you serious? <laughs> It's so beautiful. I think you can make a variety of shades. I mean, shades of looks. And they're kind of divided in quads, which is really great. This is, like I said, this is supposed to be the light one, but it works very well for me. Um, this kind of gray, cool tone gray. 
This is a really good neutral brown. Great, great palette. Cindy Grace kills it every time. Here's another brand that I rock with hardcore. Christina from Sound Cosmetics. I think this is the first one. Christina, if you're watching this video, is this the first one I got? Um, I'm not an affiliate. I want to make that really clear. Um, I found them on Etsy. And then I found their... Or I think she told me about their actual website, which is soundcosmeticsco.com. And this is a beautiful cut palette. It has the perfect um, matte to shimmer ratio for me. One, two, three, four, five mattes. The rest are shimmers. They're gorgeous. This lime. Are you serious right now? This purple. I mean, it's sickening. This pink. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. This is a beautiful, beautiful summertime, springtime palette. This one, too. Do I have an extra finger? I do not have an extra finger. This is like a blue, purple, duochrome shift. It's beautiful. Um, this pulls gray on on the camera, but it's actually a cool tone brown. And that white is ridiculous. So, love this brand. Love Christina. She's awesome. She's been amazing to me. I really like this brand. Here's another one. This is in a rolling 10 uh, and 20 um, project pan. What I'm doing is I'm doing like um, each product has a usage. Um, and I think I can't remember how many times I'm supposed to use this palette. I think it's like 20 or 15. But this is the Winter Harvest palette. I love this palette. I love the color story. I love that there's three greens and they're different tones. Do you see that? They're different tones. And they look completely different on the eyes. I love a good mustard. Oh, my gosh. And there's this lighter orange and this deeper orange, which I don't really screw with oranges, but I like this palette so much, so much that I put it in my rolling tin. So, excellent palette. Beautiful. Um, the only thing I don't like about the white, just like everything else, it gets really dirty. Okay, let's talk about these three. Let's see if I can put them on the ground. Can I? Yeah. This is the editorial mats. I've been trying to get a lot of use out of these because they were hella expensive. And this is the dark mats. I've been using these every chance I get if I'm not using my pigment palette from um, Colored Rain. Is that what it is? Yeah, Colored Rain. And then this one. Oh, shit. And then this um, custom palette I've been using the bejesus out of. This is a palette that I made with ColourPop. And it is pink and purple. And I love the looks I'm getting out of these three um, palettes. This one I really like because if you can see at the top, um, the second row, uh, the first two are, per, um, are blue. And you can really use a good blue and a purple pink look. It just depends on how you look, how you use it. I love those golds on the one, two, three, four, fourth and fifth row, all the way at the end. The purples are beautiful. The silver is outstanding. I really like this. And then it doesn't look like I've used these, but I have. And I wish you could tell, like this limey yellow, this lime, this blue. I've been using this shit, this pink. I wish you could tell, because a lot of people talk shit about me not using my palettes. Um, and then this one, like I've been using the crap out of this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. But you can't really tell, and that's irritating as shit, so. Okay, let's go to some palettes that you are going to be definitely like, what? This is the Young Wild and Cruelty Free. I used this about a month ago, and I've used it several times. Usually what I do is I have a palette rotation and I have palettes I pick but I've pulled this back in like four times because I love the looks I get with it I love this shade and this shade this is kind of a taupey color um, these mattes are creamy and beautiful and they're so smooth and they just glide onto the on the, to the skin and they're just amazing this if you don't have this palette and again you're looking for a neutral palette to for work or for the evening, this is it. This is a beautiful shade, too. Okay. Of course, we can't talk about anything without talking about Miss Jackie Ina. In my opinion, which is the only one that counts on this channel, 
Uh, this is the best ABH palette they've ever done. And I have every ABH palette all the way back to the lavish. This is the best one. 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 Um, this shade sponsored is gorgeous. Um, this shade trust issues. Dvala's. Zam. Soleil. Supreme. Big Wig. Shookington. I mean, they're just... And the, and the matte to um, shimmer ratio is just perfect. Uh, it's really unfortunate that Jackie didn't get her time to shine. The packaging is so sexy. I love this palette. And let's see this. This is a palette that I pulled in um, months ago. But I keep sneaking it back in because I love it. Now, this is not my favorite. I have used it several times. You can see there's a dip in it. But it's not my favorite. My favorites are these two. If you can tell, these are more blue purples, which are really, really beautiful. You have, um, you know, something to set your lid with. And these um, cool tone purples are outstanding. I love this. Oh, this, by the, if, by the way, this is Sangria palette from Beauty Crop. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love this palette. Okay. Then this palette was a really shock shocker. I actually pulled it into a rotation and I didn't use it that much. So I pulled it back, back to the, this rotation this time and shit, man, this, this, do you see? I already have a dent in this one. It is out fucking standing. I have a dent in this one too. I've used this probably every day in some way, shape or form. I have not used the greens that much. I have used the neutrals a ton, which is kind of crazy for me, and I've used these purple and pinks. This is an outstanding palette. Do you see how dirty it is? This is an outstanding palette. Man Manny really did a great job with this one, and this is the Moonspell Palette by Lunar Beauty. Uh, if you don't have this palette, I think it's still available. I'm not sure. Um, I have this one. I have all of them, but I would pick this one over the Strawberry Dreams any day. Beautiful. And then... The, a lot of people like the packaging. I don't believe in this type of stuff. This is not something that I believe in, um, you know, religious speaking. But the palette uh, goes like a book. Hold on. It goes like a book. And um, I like the book aesthetic, like storybook cosmetics. And I have a Cinderella palette from, uh, from Sephora. I like the book theme. I think it's really cool. So, yeah, it goes in like that. And the last palette... This brand does not get enough recognition. It is the EYN Beauty Bay palette. Palettes. They are extremely affordable. And this one, I believe, is 42. 42 color palette. Okay. Hold on to your britches. Look at that. Look at that. You have a row of purples, a row of blues, a row of or I mean yellow, orange, pinks, and a row of neutrals. And in those different um, rows, you have variations of those colors. So you have variations of the pink. You have shimmers and mattes. You have variations of the orange. You have shimmers and mattes. Beautiful. This is my favorite row. These two rows right here. Just outstanding. Oh, my God. This is supposed to be like a blue. But if you put this on your lid, it would look purple. This is outstanding. I got this um, Black Friday. I think I paid $10 for it. Normally, I think it's $20. It's 42 shades of loveliness. So, guys, yeah, that's it. These are the um, 15 palettes that I've been screwing with and that I really like. Um, hopefully, this is kind of helpful to you so you can see some of the palettes that are neutral that you really could um, start using. Some of these might be discontinued, but you can always look for them on the secondary market. Again, if you're interested in anything from Sound Cosmetics, the website is soundcosmeticsco.com. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Stay safe. Thanks. Stay sane. Remember, if things are going sideways, it gets real. It gets different. It gets real fucking different. Hang on for the ride, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.